movement properties the displacement property of languages and in this video i am going to tell you that what is the first type of movement and that is called the a movement mean argument position movement first of all you should know that what is the data in english language and for moving toward our data i want to tell you all the viewers that if you are new in our channel please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates about language and linguistics let's move to world our topic what is the a movement a movement is called the argument position movement from one argument position to the other argument position and how this movement is carried out within the syntax when we construct the sentence what is the requirement of this movement see this is our sentence the man will water the plant this is our natural sentence in the english language and if we construct the syntax of this sentence we can say that our sentence will be just like this water verb it takes dp as complement and it constructs the v bar and then it introduces its external argument that is the the man this is our argument structure the basic argument structure and in this domain we have the two dps first the plant the second the man and then this position we have assigned all the dps the role the theta role of all the dps has been valued and what is the remaining back and this vp is then selected by the ip and this is the full layer of the ip this is the functional layer and this has some functional properties the requirement of this ip i have already told you that the requirement of this ip is that it must take the specific word position filled overtly and for this it first it didn't assign the role at this position not it assign this position any role the property of i is different from the property of the v the property of i is that it bears the epp feature and for epp feature in this lower domain the a bar position this is the argument position a position argument position and in this position this dp has not been assigned case and this i bears case feature for this assign the case this i triggers this argument position and takes this at its specified position and if you want to know that what is the placement of dp or the placement of this dp the placement of both the dps are the same this is is the argument position and this is also the argument position both are the argument position so this dp is moving from this place to the upper place and in this way the case of this dp has been valued and this type of movement is called the a movement and this type of movement is due to the case checking movement c what is the structure of the i and what is the structure of vp this is the structure of vp and this is the structure of ip we have the three projection level the x bar theory structure that's the structure that is the vp structure and the ip structure and in this structure we have the head v position the complement position and the specifier position and in these two position we have the argument this is the internal argument and this is the external argument in this way this is also the argument position 
and this is also the argument position because this node and this node are the same and in this way the dp from this place is moving from the this place because these are the similar position this is the sister of the v bar and this is the sister of the i bar it means this is the these are the two same position and in this domain v doesn't have any potential to assign the nominative k the case potential is being built by the ip and for the checking of the case i trigger the lower dp and takes it at argument position in this way our two properties have been satisfied one is the ip figure of the ip satisfied the second is the case feature of the ip and the lower dp has been valued in this way and this is the simple a movement and this is called the argument movement because one argument is moving from its base position and coming to the next next a position and this is called the a movement and if you are new in our our channel please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates about language and linguistics thank you